you to listen to the voices around you, especially the voices of people of color. What can you learn from the conversations going on around us right now? Become a student of these uh, these voices around us, especially people of color. And we've, we've got two ways that you can start in that listening. One book we'd recommend is White Awake by Daniel Hill. He came to Whitworth and spoke a couple years ago. If you're white and wondering how do I as a Christian get my mind around these things, what is racial injustice, and what does that mean for me as a follower of Jesus, this would be a great place to start. Uh, also, you could look up on YouTube. This book was really helpful for me as I was trying to, to wrestle and learn and grow in my understanding of these things. And uh, another resource we recommend is a book called I'm Still Here by Austin Channing Brown, who also came to campus to speak a couple years ago. Um, and it's a great uh, book where Austin gives us her experience as a black woman in Christian higher education and the church. Um, and we've heard time and time again from people of color that have read this book, um, that when they read this book, they feel seen and heard. Um, and for me, this was an excellent way to get a window into the experience of a black woman in Christian higher ed. What are the challenges that she faces and, um, and how do I better understand that? Mm -hmm. It can be uncomfortable for a white person to hear those experiences, but it's a gift. And that's one that we want to steward well. It's really important that we don't ask people, ask our, our brothers and sisters of color to teach us about the injustices that they face and have to face again and again, even in sharing those stories. If someone wants to volunteer that, of course, we are grateful for that. But we can also learn in other ways. So we don't have to put people on the spot to rehearse these things that they've been going through again and again for their whole lives. Reading books, uh, looking up these folks on YouTube and others, other great authors and speakers out there can be a great way to do that. Um, another way that we want to encourage you to take action is to find conversation partners. Um, this is a really difficult thing to try to figure out how to talk well about, um, but we only learn to talk well by practicing. So, um, so find a couple friends and uh, talk about this stuff. As you listen and as you learn, find ways and outlets to talk about this. If you're white, find other white friends that you can talk about this with um, and engage in conversations. Mm -hmm. And finally, would encourage us all to pray. This uh, racial injustice that we've seen erupt again in our country is not something new. It has been rooted in our country for 400 plus years. This deep, deep evil lie that certain people aren't real people based on the color of their skin. And that lie has been showing up for in our country in the slavery and the Jim Crow laws and in many other ways, including what we've seen recently. And we need to pray against that evil. Pray that this principality and power would would be demolished and that we as followers of Jesus and the body of Christ would live into our call as the people of God.